very quiet. Nobody would say much. I would say, okay, I'm going to bed. All hell would break loose. <laughs> I mean, they really had a good time after I went to bed. He didn't lock the liquor cabinet. <laughs> and now for your listening pleasure. We got married last Friday. My girl was right there beside me. Our friends were all gone, and we were alone side by side. We were happily wed when she got ready for bed then. Her teeth and her hair she laid on the chair side by side. One glass eye so tiny, one hearing aid so small. She laid them on the chair by the wall. I stood there broken hearted. My girl had so departed. I slept on the chair. There was more of her there. would fall for head over heels in love with this happy, musical, full of malarkey Irishman <laughs> who changed my life forever. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is a bond between a person who never remembers anniversaries and another one who never forgets this. <laughs> Margaret Ann said she went to see her doctor with a nasty pain in the ass. <laughs> Turns out the doctor had already met me. <laughs> Bruni. <laughs> Marriage is just a fancy word for adopting an overgrown male child who cannot be handled by his parents any longer. <laughs> <laughs> When a married man stops, uh, man talks in his sleep, it's because he finally has the opportunity to say something without the wife interrupting him. <laughs> Margaret Ayer is about five foot four. I'm almost six feet. No wonder many times we do not see eye to eye. Never go to bed bad. Stay up and fight. <laughs> One day it was raining. Margaret Ann, all she did was look through the window. When it started to thunder and lightning, I let her in. <laughs> if love is blind, why is lingerie so popular? <laughs> no matter how much cats fight, there always seems to be plenty of kittens. <laughs> God help the man who won't marry until he finds a perfect wife. God help him even more if he finds her. <laughs> the three stages of marriage are engagement ring, wedding ring, and supper ring. <laughs> you know that it's easier to be a saint than be married to one. <laughs> thought 60 years ago that a, God, God has blessed our marriage with seven wonderful children. These children and their spouses and our grandchildren are all our treasures and we hold them dear. We thank all of you for wonderful friends who have come to help us celebrate our anniversary. Just think about it. Uh, thank you for coming. I may repeat a little bit. <laughs> We're coming here today to help us 
us to celebrate our 60th wedding anniversary. Seems like yesterday that we stood at the altar. Just think about it. That's almost 22,000 days. I won't even try to come up with how many minutes that is. We especially thank the band, remember then, for coming all the way from Athens on that lousy road to help us out. Yeah. for making us so proud of you every day. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to cut the cake, and as it's being distributed, I want to make sure everyone knows that there's more food out there, there's drink out there, and music's going to start out here in just a few minutes. You heard Dad sing? Well, uh, <laughs> that's <he's>, all that. <laughs> so we're going to carry that tradition on into the other room. So we invite you.